The line in the scriptures today, kill you and think they are worshiping God. I remember that looking crazy to me. Jesus says, remember I told you this. And today, we do remember that, don't we? That our freedom to come together and worship and receive the Eucharist is something that would be life-threatening in many areas of the world today. In some sad ways, it's something happening every day and we are slowly becoming numb to it. The struggle to believe today is what we're thinking about and praying about. The first reading talks about a woman named Lydia, a dealer in purple cloth, a worshiper of God who listened and the Lord opened her heart, it says, to pay attention to what Paul was saying. Lydia's story is a story of coming to faith and not being concerned about her business or any repercussions. All she could do was believe and be baptized and bring her family to that baptism as well. Well, that's where we can be a huge sign. To we who have the freedom to worship, a challenge is given today to live our faith vibrantly, if you will, in purple cloth, to be a sign to the world of faith, a world where Christianity is often oppressed every day and sometimes not so obviously, but as Pope Francis has said in our country, a more friendly persecution. All the more that we must be a beacon of faith by how we live and profess our faith. We're 80 million strong in America alone. Can you imagine if we ever decided to unite in, as one about matters of faith and morals? Remember the old song from the 60s, they'll know we are Christians by our love. Would anyone know anything about us by how we live our lives? And so the challenge lies before us, to vibrantly live our faith with a zeal that speaks beyond our families and neighborhoods. Yes, a zeal and excitement that proclaims to the rest of the world, the Lord indeed takes delight in his people.